Namaste my dear friends. Welcome to Sourcing Chakra and welcome to your reading today. This reading is for those of you who have left part 3. So we're going to take a look at what's going to happen in October with Tarot. As well as to check the energy of the houses, the planets and the zodiac sign. Get a message for love and romance from the romance angels. And a final message from your spirit guides and your ancestors. Okay, so please keep in mind that this is a general reading and it might not resonate with all of you. But there might be a message in there that is meant to find you today. And also before I start with the reading, I just wanted to remind you guys to please uh, give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. I'd be so grateful. Okay. So, I'll see you at your reading. So, life part 3. Let's see what's happening in October. The High Priestess. The Seven of Swords. And the Lovers. Okay, right off the bat, I'm getting... Somebody is hiding secrets here in this connection. Okay. Very strong magnetic attraction here, but someone in this connection has big secrets and something about this person that you're not fully aware of, you know, there is something happening in their life. Okay, they're not being very truthful to you. Okay. So let's see why the high priestess is here. Okay, the seven of wands. Somebody is defending themselves, they're ready to fight, you know. But they're standing the ground as well. Okay. This could be you. Because I feel like this is a person that they're not very honest. and you're confronting them okay so let's see what the seven of swords here okay the five of sword hmm yes definitely there's something sneaky about your person you know they're sly they're manipulative. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> and I feel like you did have a confrontation with this person. You know, you are defending yourself here. This person is the kind that plays mind games. And they feel like they got you, you know, where you, they want you. Okay? You're upset and angry. And you're standing up to them. Alright? So let's see what's going to happen in October. Okay, the Eight of Sword. Hmm. You don't know what to do. You know, you feel powerless. You feel bound to this person. Because for one thing, you are very attracted, you know, there's, there's a connection that you feel to this person. But at the same time, you know, like, I feel like you will come to know that they have been hiding something from you, you know, but you're still not able to let go, move on. One more. The King of Sword. The King of Sword is a masculine energy. So, regardless of whether you are a male or female watching this, my viewers, uh, I feel like this is your energy in October. Okay? You're going to be somebody who's going to think logically, be really cool, rational. 
you know, as well as firm. Like you're not gonna take any bullshit. Okay, that's the energy that I get from the King of Sword. He makes very good decisions, you know. Because in October, I feel like yes, there is going to be a confrontation with your person. And you're ready to cut them out. Hmm. Interesting. So let's see what's the final advice and outcome. The King of Wands. And the Emperor. The King of Wands is also somebody who takes action, you know. They can they can be impulsive, but uh, uh, they know what to do at the right time, okay? And they don't hesitate to take uh, bold action. And you have the Emperor as well. And the Emperor energy speaks about um, control as well as uh, power, you know? I feel like in October you're going to be in your power. And spirit also is saying that you need to be wise about this, you know. And I feel like you viewers, you are wise and mature. You know, you you are at the place that you don't want to play any games here, you know. And you're not going to accept any less. Okay. I also feel like you're gonna feel empowered when you make this decision you know when you uh, defend your core values and beliefs and call this person out on the bullshit okay so yes life part three just uh, comment down below if uh, you feel this situation resonates with you all right and i feel like you will resolve this problem that you have in october or very soon when you watch this video all right so let's see what are the energy of the houses and the planets that will influence you We got the sun, your immortal spirit, purpose, and destiny is involved. Aquarius, this energy is freedom loving, rebellious, idealistic, and technological. The third house, your potential to learn something and your local neighborhood. So in October, your third house is in focus and your third house is an area of higher education, learning, uh, maybe short trips, okay? But it mostly revolves around learning, acquiring more knowledge. It involves learning something completely new, like you might even go back to school or you might take up some training workshop to add to your existing skills but whatever it is when your third house is in focus it speaks about your inner desire to build upon your knowledge all right so education would be very important this uh, October okay so the third house also talks about your local neighborhood so maybe if you are looking for 
uh, workshop or a training you know it might, you might just find them in your immediate sur surroundings so that's something to keep an eye out for all right and Aquarius you know it will be influencing the third house and the Aquarius energy is also that of uh, technology and visionary all right Aquarius are free thinkers you know they want to change the world and it's a sign of uh, science and technology so this is something that you might be interested in October you know, even though you may not uh, have been interested in the past but in October something to do with uh, information technology and science will pique your interest so this is also a good time for you to be networking on social media with people you know and talking about the subjects that you're interested in and I feel like this will really help you to make new acquaintances and friends uh, who have similar interests so the energy I'm getting here is that of exchanging uh, stimulating intellectual conversations learning investigating researching all right so a lot to do with um, learning and education in October and the Sun you know, the Sun represents you your character your personality and you see how Sun is just so warm radiant and um, gives so much life and energy this is how you're going to be projecting yourself to the world you know this is how people will see you like very powerful like magnetic okay and the Sun also represents uh, something that you are very involved with like it could be a career that just uh, consumes you you know that you live breathe something like that okay so overall in October this is what I'm getting for you guys like education is very highlighted here all right so let's see what message you get from Romance Angels for Love and Romance. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Hmm. So the angels say that this could be the one and they are your soulmate and to give your relationship a chance. So I'm picking up on this relationship. Okay. So what I'm getting is that they might be some work to do here you know you might have to sit down and um, that you might have to sit down and talk through okay come clean with what your person is hiding from you be open to each other okay because although that they are your soulmate you know you still need to be in your power you know you should not accept uh, less from them even if you're attracted to them or they are your soulmate okay but your angels are saying to give this relationship a chance to work on it all right because they are your soulmate yeah but like I said you're going to be in the energy of the king of sword now you're gonna cut out any bullshit that they're gonna feed you okay I feel like you're gonna be very um, cold I wouldn't say cold but rather 
be very clear cut with your words with your person like you're not going to mince words and being in this energy is going to help you solve whatever issues you have with the person you know the secrets they've been hiding the manipulation the games the mind games okay because like even if you know that they are your soulmate you know you still need to be in your power okay keep boundaries defend your values all right okay so let's get the final message from your ancestors guardians of the four corners mother in the earth father in the sky angels ancestors sacred ones i call on you and welcome you here now Sky Father, trust in the unknown. The Sky Father represents the universal powers that is masculine in its essence. And it also signifies a very powerful uh, male figure, father figure in your life. Okay? So because you got the Emperor here as well. Look at how similar these two are. Getting this card means, you know, if there is a important male figure, father figure who is in heaven, the spirit is watching over you and guiding you. Okay? And if they are on earth, then there is a connection that you have with your father or, or your father figure that that is calling for you to heal okay whether in the present or in the past okay an important ancestor they are watching you okay they're protecting you they are guiding you and um, the message for you is to trust whatever is unfolding in your life Okay, do not try to control, but to trust that whatever is happening in your life is happening for the best. Okay, there is still a lot of things unknown, but uh, the message is that you should not be afraid. Your spirits, your ancestors, they got your back. So if uh, something's been confusing you in your life, you know, like do you see the ego here? Uh, so it means that, you know, you need to have the higher perspective like that of an ego. You need to take a step back and look at it, whatever is the situation around you very critically, you know, reflect on it. Okay? And you will be able to observe your emotion as well as uh, what's going around you more clearly. Yeah? So I'm getting a very strong male presence in your life, you know. The spirits and the ancestors are telling you to reach out, you know, if you need advice. Whether it's your father or somebody that you look up to, you know, you need to uh, connect with them again. Ask the advice. Okay? Beautiful. So this is all I have for you, Life Part 3. I hope you liked your reading. If you did, just give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for your time and thank you for connecting with me. I hope to see you again. Namaste.